Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's big porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Now, I'm going to have a gentleman who's going to be here in the next 10-15 minutes called Steve from Orchid Palm Homes. He's an Essex lad and he's based out in Thailand and uh, he's a businessman and he's uh, hopefully going to be working with us. So, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, see if you can follow Steve's journey or who knows if you want to buy a villa Orchid Palms Homes is the best one to go to out there alright so peace out and then let's hope the interview was okay hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there how are you doing? it's Big Porky here the voice of hardcore boxing and today I am joined by a friend of Dennis's who I've just met He's called Steve and he's from Essex where he lives in Thailand. How are you doing Steve? Not too bad. Can the island boy? Can the island. island boy? Yeah. Hey, you know. <laughs> so, that's brilliant man. So, how did you... Yeah, what's your background first in combat sports then Steve? Uh, that's martial question. arts, basically. Uh, martial arts? Used to belong to a club in the UK in uh, Rayleigh called Taikido. Mm -hmm. And that basically got me out to Thailand a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Malaysia to begin with, and then from Malaysia came up to Thailand, and sort of that's where I've got my my home now. That's where I live. Mm. So you're living in Thailand now, then? Yeah. You love it out there? Yeah. 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 Uh, you're the CEO of Orchid Palm Homes. Orchid Palm Homes Developments. Oh. Management. Pardon? Orchid Palm Homes Developments. Is Developments, it? yeah. Oh. So, you know, we're quite well known. We, uh, You're not behind me rent then? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't uh, think you are. <laughs> uh, the place we live is a town called Hoi Hin. Yeah. And uh, that's mainly predominantly where we've been building. We've got 10 developments. We've done about 400 houses. It's a lot of houses, isn't it? Yeah. Villas, is that yeah? Pool, pool villas, yeah. Pardon? Pool villas. So every, pool villas, yeah. Every property that that just come with a swimming pool. So if I want to buy a villa in Thailand, uh, you're basically man to come and see me. You didn't come see me, yeah. You'll come and see you. Yeah. Dennis tried to hit you for a cheap villa. He <laughs> <laughs> <It> will, <laughs> ain't it? <laughs> we need Dennis to stay in one spot, you know, instead of, he's, o he's always living out in the suitcase, mm. isn't he? But I bet, of course, you've got weather out there, haven't you? We do. You know, we do get the rain. You know, people say, oh, this is uh, glorious sunshine all the time, but uh, mm. yeah. yeah. I wake up in the morning, I put my pair of shorts on and I go to work. That's, that's yeah. how it should be. Yeah. <laughs> right, so your background basically is martial arts, isn't it? You marsh Muay Thai, is it? You, you well, I, I, I got into that when I got to Thailand. Uh, yeah. I, uh, there was a place called the Grand Sport, uh, so they had boxing, they had Muay Thai fighters in there and mm. instructors. Mm. So I spent a, a couple of years learn, learning how to do Muay Thai, which is completely different to anything else. Mm. Quite technical. Yeah, it is. did you enjoy doing karate? Yeah. 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 It's good when you win, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think to, about the, the sport boxing at the moment? What do you think, Steve? I know it's on everybody's lips and you're going to say that, but what do you think about boxing at the moment as a sport? I think there's a decline. Um, I think, you know, the, the, the golden era is, it seems to be disappearing. Mm. I, I don't know why. Uh, UFC seems to be the, the the new fad now. Everybody fights everybody, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think also, you know, ultimately boxing is all about the heavyweight division. And I think there's a massive decline there as well. Uh, and that's from me in Thailand, you know, I see it from the outside, you know, I'm not like you guys involved mm. in it 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. Do you... Uh, Think there's much scope to put shows on in Thailand, Steve? Uh, yeah, I think I think there is. Um, it's got to be the right place and the right show. You right know. fight, yeah. Yeah, Thailand. Right promoter. Yeah, that as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's why Dennis yeah. is involved. <laughs> yeah, you've got two shows over there, then. Yeah, one. There's at the moment. There's not really. There's, there's a guy called Jimmy that Dennis deals with, and mm. they're trying to do something together. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully it will happen uh, mm. in Thailand, and I can be a part of that as well with Dennis. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, Thailand's mainly predominant 
Mu Thai. You know, it's, it's, it's there. They love it. They live it, the Mu Thai. Um, but the, more and more now, you're starting to get one, the one fights. They come to Thailand, mm -hmm. which is really big. Um, and they've got some really good boxers over there. You know, the, their worldweight division is phenomenal. What about this kid, the 140 pound kid, like Welter? He fights tomorrow, doesn't he? He's the mandatory for Josh Taylor and Progre, isn't he? Yeah, IBF right. mandatory. So it's going to be, they're tough fighters, the Thais. They've mm. got hard chins. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I, you know, I haven't really met any of the boys yet that have come over. I'll, hopefully, I'll, I'll be meeting them later. I've I'm seen jealous. him actually on YouTube, he's very good, isn't he? Mate, what's be if he's IBF number one? What do you think about the pay-per-view model in the UK at the moment, Steve? Uh, I live in Thailand, I get it all for free. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, but I personally don't think you should pay. I think yeah. you, 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 when you already pay a subscription every month to Sky anyway. Yeah, you should be free. I can watch UFC for free on TV, so why not boxing? Yeah. Would you like to see the UFC concept, not obviously the rules and the cage and all that, but when everybody more or less fights everybody, don't they? It's, it's very rare you get a UFC guy with a with a, a undefeated record, isn't it? After twenty five fights, isn't it? none of them backs up down from anybody. No, they don't. And really. Dana White is really clever to put them together, and he knows mm -hmm. he's going to get. You know, I'm off to uh, two, four, three in Mel in Melbourne next month, and for the very first time, he's got it at the Marvel Stadium, it holds sixty thousand people. Where's that? In Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia? Yeah. 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 Will it sell out? We yeah, will do, yeah. Oh, Dan and White's going to sell that out? Yeah. Yeah? He'll, he'll get the place packed. Him and Eddie Hearn, I can see locking up, locking horns at UFC soon. I can see Eddie jumping over to that. And I can see Dinah jumping over to box. And I can see them working together. They're similar age and the, for me, they get it. They understand how it works, you know, with social media and things like that. Well, Daniel's made, made that sport explode. You have seen? Yeah. Massive, innit? So he's got a massive training camp in China as well. He's got gyms all over the place. He's hitting the big in Asia. And that's something that's also coming to Thailand. Uh, the Thais now, a lot of them are saying, do you know what, let's not be so much into Muay Thai. Let's try and get into the MMA as well. Mm. So there's, there's massive possibilities. Mm. How long flight is it over to Thailand, Steve? Uh, if you go from London, you're looking about 11, 12 hours. If mm. you go from Manchester, around 16, 17 hours. It will stop over. Mm. So it's a long, it's a bit of a trek then, isn't it? For it can be, British yeah. British fans. Yeah. But, the, like I just said, there is a fan base out there. It's got to be tapped into, hasn't it, yeah. the Thailand? Yeah. But, but people have travelled to America, Vegas, and that's, yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the same distance. Mm. Yeah. Airplane, yeah. Mm. And also you've got, you've got the, the Grand Prix, the F1, people travel over the world to watch that. They have that in Thailand as well. Vietnam is, yeah. kind of, is, I'm going to the Vietnam one in February next year, it's the very first one they've got. And they've done the track and everything obviously, haven't they? Yeah. The race, race track, yeah. yeah. So it's a shame, I'd love it to come to Thailand, but we just haven't got the areas for it to How go. far is it Vietnam from Thailand? It's about a two hour flight, so it's not much long at all. I wonder how many uh, people are really interested in boxing out there, or are they just you combat sport fans in general? Do you think? Tires in generally are, are massive in sports. Doesn't matter what it is, be it golf, be it tennis, be it football, be it boxing, muay thai. They, they like anything that's sport sport oriented. Mm. Did you watch the Tyson Fury fight, Steve? I did. What did you think? I, I thought he wasn't there. I think thought someone else was fighting. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's because Tyson can only really get up for the big fights? Do you think he's got the fear of God in him when he's fighting like a Wilder or Vladimir Klitschko? Uh, everyone's got an opinion. Whether yeah. mine counts, I don't know. But I thought he probably got in that fight thinking he's, he's going to be fighting a bum and was taken back that the guy was actually fighting. The guy had nothing to lose. Did you know that guy has hit Tyson more than any other fighter in his career? He hit him 127 times. Vladimir only hit him 51. Is that a fighter in decline or are we going to give him benefit of doubt because of his eye? I think you give him the benefit of doubt. You, everyone's different. Yeah. You know, no one thought um, yeah. Joshua was going to lose. 
and then no. that happened. But then again, I, I always become up with a conspiracy theory. Did he lose on purpose to get so the second fight makes more money, and then he goes goes to Saudi Arabia and wins it? Goes to Saudi Arabia, blows him away, then gets a trilogy with him, same fighter. Well, no, I think if he, he goes to Saudi Arabia and wins it, mm. he's then set up for Wilder and an even bigger pay pay packet. Mm. They're saying that fight could end up in uh, Nigeria and any uh, anywhere except Vegas or New York. That's you trying know. to emulate Rumble in the Jungle. They're trying yeah. to do a uh, George Foreman and that Muhammad mm. Ali. The way I look at it, right, is this. Eddie Hearn says, Rumble in the Jungle, Thriller and Manila, you know, like, and them kind of fights. Now, mm. did they have a Rumble in the Jungle too? Did they have a thriller in Manila too? They didn't. They, they were just fights that were one-offs. Mm. Now, I personally think these fights are put on to take a bit of the pressure off the government and, and the country at the, at the time. This is what I think, and everybody will be geared up to watch that in Saudi. They'll not be talking about the other stuff. That's what I think, you know, because yeah. why would you don't hear people come out with things like, "Here, let's go to Saudi with lads for a week and off a week." But they say it about Vegas, don't they? Yeah. Saudi isn't the place for me that people are going to want to go to flock to, kind of, because there are rules about alcohol and things like yeah. that. Yeah. And we know what the boxing crowd are. Don't we? Can you imagine them all singing Sweet Caroline with a bottle of water? I can't. <laughs> in crowd. So I think they've gone out there for one thing and one thing only, and that's money. Money yeah. talks, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Boxers deserve every penny they can get in ring, but we have to find a balance, I think, mm. regarding what they're delivering for fans. You know, yeah. that's, I don't yeah. know, but maybe I'm out of order saying that, I don't know. This show tomorrow, Steve, about Fist of Fury, it's free. So, televisions that are made nowadays, they've all got built in free view, aren't they? So you go onto your free view, flick through channels. You've got a show there for free, no subscription or anything like that. Now they're saying that the Saudi show, they're going to put price up. Do you think it's all heading towards if Joshua loses and he bails out and Eddie gets as much money as he can from this fight? Possibly. You know, at the end of the day, he's all about money. Yeah, you know, it's, it's... Are all you Essex lads uh, like this? <laughs> I know you like a pound note, yeah? <laughs> Not shy. Uh, well, if he is cashing out with him, and it all, it's all pointing to it being a possibility because Joshua's saying he's been disillusioned and things like that. But if he wins, he's back to where he went before he fought Ruiz, and I think we'll just have the same. I think they'll just keep recycling him and trying to make big fights up that we don't want. Because we only want to see Joshua fight Ruiz now, Tyson and Wilder. So if he fights Ruiz again, Tyson and Wilder twice, that's five fights. He's only really got five fights that are going to be the biggest ones mm. in his career. So if they can get another ten easy ones and slip in with odd ones of them but five... Then, but then does people want to watch that? No, they don't. And I think Eddie Hurton, he's a numbers man. He employs people in an office to check numbers for them. They're, they're obsessed by numbers, trust me. But they're a very organised outfit. They're a well-oiled yeah. machine. They won't take a risk if it's about money. They don't risk pound note. Do you remember the Barry Hearn show in the 90s where Frank Bruno were going to fight Ray Mercy? It was called High Noon. And they all got, it, the show got cancelled, didn't it, after it weighing? Do you remember it? You might not remember, remember it. it. No, a long time ago. Now, the show could have gone on, but the guy wasn't going to pay Barry Hearn the money. Or he didn't have all the money for the agreed fees. Mm. Barry Hearn did the sensible thing. He pulled the show near to save himself a lot of money. But in doing that, he lost a lot of his fighters across the street. Now, I'm not saying Eddie Hearn's feeding us crap. I'm not saying that. I'm telling people he is. I'm not just saying, oh, is he? He is feeding rubbish. For what the criteria used to be now. Do you remember, I don't like to harp on about this because people pull me leg, but because obviously, I'm a Carl Froch fan, but he fought Lucian Boutte, do you remember him? Boutte. What, 90s? He was world champion when Froch. Froch fought Ward in the final of the Super 6. Now it was 2011, he fought him. Now after that fight, 
The winner of the tournament, we're going to fight Bute because he was the longest reigning super middleweight champion at the time. And Froch, runner up in the tournament, so he should have waited while Ward, who beat Froch, fought Bute. Ward put, said he didn't want to fight him. Froch fought Bute. That was on non pay per view. That was and a great, great fight. A great show as well. On non pay per view. Now, what, what have we got now on non pay per view? Dave Allen against David Price. You know, that's a non pay per view event. Whereas not long ago, we had Carl Frotch against Bute. Do you see where I'm coming from here? I think it's diluted a little bit. I think he's spread himself thin. And I'd like to see great fights coming back, but. I don't think the the TV people are standing up to bot, uh, promoters at the yeah. moment. I don't think they are. Free Sports, who our show tomorrow night, uh, they only want good fights. Do you know what I mean? They don't want rubbish on. People can they'll dig me out for what I've just said there in that comment. They'll compare it to Eddie Hearn's shows and that. But look at the pot of gold he's got to play with compared to. To Dennis, to see where I'm coming yeah. from. So to say that there's not much in pot to put this show on, I think it's a good show, mate. And what do you think about it tomorrow? Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Have we got to win? Have we got Tommy Frank to win? He's got to win. Yeah, he's got to win. Yeah. Josh Whale, win for Josh. I think he will as well, yeah. So the big three, Tommy, Josh and Tyrone, I think they all win. Tyrone there's points, Tommy and Josh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna say I'm gonna say they win by KO. Kane Salvi, Liam Dring, Irving Magno, and uh, Ahmed, they're all, good, they're all good fighters. It's a really good show. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, who is your favourite ever boxer of all time, Steve? What, what attracts you to boxing? Probably Sugar Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray Robinson? Yeah, you're yeah. probably the best pound for pound ever, isn't he? Yeah, I watched a documentary on him the other day and I was just amazed. It, it wasn't just about the boxing, it was just his life. You know, yeah. Very, very, very humble man as well. Yeah. And he liked the people. You know, yeah, he did. But he was... He in the army as well. Much. Yep, he was in the military. Yeah, he was a dancer yeah. as well, wasn't he? So yeah, no, very... It, it was interesting watching that. Now, I know everybody usually goes on to Muhammad Ali, but... I, f I think he, he's just an interesting character. He nearly won world title like that anyway, didn't he? Sugar Ray mm -hmm. Robinson, he, 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 he not, he's, he's not beating in the end, end like 12th round or last round or something. He nearly pulled it off, didn't he, everywhere, like everywhere. Yeah. But then he, he he did what most of them do, he, he carried on boxing when he was past it. You know, he should have retired, but he didn't, he carried on. Yeah, like Roy Jones. <laughs> not there. Yeah. Clinton fought Roy, right, remember? A long time ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. tough man, Clinton. Uh, yeah, if Dennis pulled him out at fight, actually, it's a good fight if any anybody's listening to this video this morning. Uh, Clinton Woods versus Roy Jones in uh, Oregon, America, where the Nike headquarters are. Uh, I think if Dennis had timed it right a year later, he might have just timed it right with to get Jones because. Tarver ended up knocking him out, didn't he? And Glenn Johnson did, mm. but Clinton beat Glenn Johnson. So it's all about timing, isn't it? But he, were, he had too many fights, didn't he, Roy? And he went on too far, didn't he? Yeah, they usually do. And it's a shame. Do you think Tyson Fury will end up going too far? Because there's money involved. No, I think he's clever. I yeah. think he's all about <laughs> getting the pennies in right and getting out. Mm. Uh, you know, sort of. I've got to take my hat off to him for coming back. You know, he's, he's had to go through a lot to get where he is now. Yeah. Would you put it past uh, Tyson's, uh, Steve, uh, now that he's had his five fights with Frank Warren, would you put it past him just walking away and having a ticking break? I think he wants he wants that shot at Wilder. That, that bit, think so, the, yeah? Yeah, I, I think with the shot with Wilder, then we'll see what happens. That's the one he wants again. Let's let's uh, see if he gets up for that fight then, because uh, maybe he will be up for a while the fight, because you know what you're going to get hit with, don't you? Mm. But do you think there's a possibility that Tyson just might not fight Wilder? No, I think he will. Yeah. Yeah. He's got contracts already signed, so it's like why why look away from him? Yeah. Yeah. I see where you're coming from. 
Yeah, I'll see where you're coming from. Uh, so when do you go back to Thailand, Steve? Uh, the 30th of September. I 30th out. of September you go back? Yeah. And then are you there till Christmas then? Well, I'm there for three days and I'm off to uh, in October. I'm off to the USC. I'm there for about a week. Where's that at? Australia? Melbourne. Melbourne, yeah, you only get that with yeah. 60,000. Yeah, and then I'm back again, and then uh, then I'm off to Phuket. Oh, off to where? Phuket. Phuket. You've got a jet set lifestyle, are you happy? Yeah, well, all right, yeah. You're loving it off, aren't you, lad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are, yeah, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Eddie Hearn were having it off, mate, but no. You met Eddie Hearn look like a church mouse. Yeah, I haven't travelled this year as much as I travelled last year. <laughs> You save all the air miles, Steve. I, 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 I two airlines, Qatar or Thai Airways. Yeah. Bit of promotion there for you boys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not. A, I'm not a happy flyer, me. Uh, I'm, I'm not keen on flying, to be honest. I've been to. I went to Jersey five times over a very short period of time, and uh, that was enough for me. Fifty-five minutes to an hour on plane. Was that in a little flyby? Yeah. F uh, yeah. They're not the best of planes to go in. From. From Doncaster, from Robin Hood Airport, which is back away, I used to live in, in Oakley, but Robin Hood Airport to St. Brillard, is it, or whatever, Jersey in it. Did you know Dennis having flying lessons? No, no. He would have been flying lessons in Jersey. Oh, we're howling when he told me. He says, Where you been this morning? And they were over there. So saw a flying lesson, I saw you. Him and Sarah, they did, yeah, they were up in the skies with, playing with. Uh, Instruments yeah. and all that, you know, but are you into, are you into flying now? I only sitting on them and drinking. Yeah, imagine Dennis behind <laughs> behind a uh, plane. Imagine if they're on a plane and it gets hijacked and they say, has anybody got any flying experience? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so, who's fighting anyway? Before we close this interview, who's fighting at UFC? Ooh. We've got uh, Wid Taker and oh, it's, uh, the guy from New Zealand, Israel. He's got Are you involved in the show at all? Nah, no, 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 purely going over there as a fan base. Yeah, yeah so it's going to be cool. I'm, meet, I'm, meet, I'm meeting my son over there as well, so he's going to come and join me. Where's your son based at? Melbourne. Melbourne, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you're not big on England, are you, Steve? It's a nice country. I, I like coming here for a holiday. Yeah, <laughs> you're crazy, <laughs> not. You're from Essex and you come here for an holiday. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's, we're all walking around looking a bit long in the boat, aren't we? Shh. You know, everybody, it's a toilet, isn't it? Oh, I don't know, I think... Uh, compared to where you're, you're staying, it's, it's raining and all this, and you've got weather, haven't you? Like, oh, we've got the beach, it's the thing, you know. I've got the beach, but I don't visit it that much. Yeah. Um, I'm more of a mountain person. Mm. So... Yeah, yeah it's... Uh, it's how, how many hours did you say it is to get there? If you're flying via Manchester, yeah. you're looking at around 16, 17 hours with a stopover. Where do you stop over at? In Doha. Yeah. yeah. You can fly Emirates as well, around, around the same flight time. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Or you want to travel all the way down to London and it's a short flight. Is it a short flight from London to over there? It's direct. An hour off, is it? Or no, it's anywhere between 10, 11, 12 hours. It's not bad then, is it? Get a bit of wind behind you. Mm. Is there any companies you want to give a shout out to apart from Orchid Palm Homes? Orchid, uh, sorry. Well, of course. Or Orchid Orchid. Palm Homes. Orchid. Or oh, it's yeah. O-R-C-H-I-D. Yeah. If anybody out there, all you hardcores, will Google things straight away. Google O-R-C-H-I-T. Orchid. Orchid. Uh, palm Homes. www.orchidpalmhomes.com yeah. this, is, this is the CEO of that company. It's, uh, it's rather large, just a little bit. And if you're interested in buying a villa or going out there, you know, demand. Do you have demand? Do you mentor all that with all the makers and all that? We basically, uh, we do, there is a lot of houses that are for rent, but we don't get involved with it. Yeah. We just, uh, as soon as a customer wants to rent their property out, we give, we, we'll give them to an agent that we think could they do look with after them. A trusted, trusted people. It's like renting a house in England, it's yeah. just hand it over to them, they put a little small fee on it, don't they, to deal with all... Ten, between 10 and 15 percent. Yeah, that's about right, isn't it? It's like if you rent an house in Sheffield to your partner and you don't pay your rent for a couple of months, you say, you've got that rent? Oh, I'm, I'm struggling. Because in your partner, they take liberties, but if you're in estate agent, they're on top of you, aren't they, with that sort of you thing? And the thing in Thailand is, 
you poke with some people don't play the rent, you can kick them out. There's no, yeah, is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah, there's no, you know, you have to go and see the judge and get an eviction notice, that don't happen over there. Yeah. Right then, so I'll just introduce uh, my followers to uh, Steve from Canvey Island. Yes. He's uh, a Thailand lad now. He's uh, going to be doing some work with us moving forward, all being well. He's a nice gentleman and uh, he's looking forward to the show tonight, as we all are. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Can I give a shout out to, as I just mentioned, Orchid Palm Homes and Climate Core, uh, which is my business partner's uh, company. All right. Thank you very much. Peace. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, little chat I've just had with Steve, a uh, very knowledgeable guy and uh, who's to say that Dennis might not get involved in uh, other combat sports that have set boxing so we're gonna see so I hope you're all gonna follow the story or should we say the story continues alright so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because you get your porky fix straight to your phone every day won't you at 6pm alright thank you very much